Hey ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is Grounded Battery here, and I'm going to start a new playthrough uh, with Kingdom 2 Crowns. Uh, Kingdom 2 Crowns is a, a 2D uh, relaxing game, I'd say. It's a very relaxing 2D side-scrolling game. The mechanics are very simple, but don't let that fool you that the mechanics may be so simple, because it's actually pretty fun. Because the only thing that you do, you do as a monarch is, you know, pay people. Yeah, it's all you do. <laughs> you capitalize on the other suffering of other people and they build your empire. That's, that's how I can describe kingdom. As fast as you can build your empire, as it can quickly fall as well. Now, let's continue on. We have a ghost, and it looks like it's an apparition from the past or probably a past monarch that is trying to lead our way. So we will follow this ghost all the way, all the way to victory. And, uh, all right, let's light our fire. I'm gonna stand here. And now we have citizens. I'm gonna buy a bow, put a weapon in people's hands. Yeah, I will. this is the first step into building my army. And now I'm going to stand here, and we're going to get a hammer for this guy. He's going to be a builder. Now she wants to stand here. I know. Our apparition is mighty bossy, right? And this is... Uh, our builder's going to build a fence now. We are following our apparition all the way up to here. Okay, we recruited one more. She wants us to buy another bow. It's a shame, we kind of have to wait. We have two bowmen now. And now we shall build, expand, and defend! So, let's get a start, people. Okay, well, let's... Okay, now that now that that's over, we're gonna build a little fence here. So far, we have two bowmen and a builder, which for the first night, that's really all we need. But we need to go explore like immediately. And look, look at this. We already found the area where our boat's gonna be. And the fo first uh, priority priority that we need to do is build the boat as quickly as possible for the first island. That's what we need to do. You see, I've played this game before, so I have a rough idea of, like, what you need to do in, you know, in a particular order. Not particularly a master, but we'll see what we can do. There's still plenty of room for error. And I guess that's where the fun lies, huh? There's a shrine, an expensive shrine, and but this shrine doesn't take anything we have. This thing takes jewels, and we don't have any jewels, so keep that in mind. But we are getting plenty of gold. Ah, I love it when a when chest or just chest of gold just appear in front of me. We got some vagrants here, so we're gonna recruit these guys. And boom, right here. We are on the dock. And that scary looking portal thing is where enemies come out of. The enemy is called the greed. And they take whatever's in their path. Especially gold, because they're called the greed. I think only one comes out. Well, yeah, for the first night, only one on that side. Some playthroughs have been different. I've seen, like, the first night that uh, some of the, there'll be, like, two or three greed that'll come out of a portal at a time, but maybe it's dependent on what side you seek. But I wanted to pay that guy off so he doesn't hit one of our guys here, make trying to make it back to our camp. Because that'd be bad if he got, you know, taken down. So we're going to ride back to our settlement. See what we can and can't do since we got a pretty much got a bag full of money, so I'm sure we can do something with that.
Two more vagrants. We're going to hire these guys. Okay, they are now our citizens. Fantastic. So we got two bowmen and we have one builder so far. And I'm not going to be very, very comfortable until I have at least four. Four bowmen all together. Thank you. Let's see here. Let's talk to our guy right here. And he's not... Okay, let's see here. Oh, yeah, we have to wait for dawn to break, and he'll pay us. We need to go ahead and build another builder. Or pay another builder. Oh, okay, so it's officially night now. I'll say that. So we're going to go ahead and explore this side. I know it's night, but I have a bag full of no money. So it'll be okay. Well, since they're so close, I'm going to go ahead and run back to our stronghold. I think we can avoid paying them off. There we go. Hey, we're going to see what we can and can't get on this side. Now let's walk a little bit. See the little white smoke coming out of the horse? That means the horse is low in stamina. You know, he'll need to slow down and try to regain it. We're deep in the forest right now, so it's there's not a whole lot we can do to regain our stamina. Because the only way to regain the stamina's horse is one is time, the other is grass patches. And we got some grass patches right here, so. Alright, the day's turned over and we're down to the second day. Well, up to the second day. have a very expensive house right here. Hmm. wonder what this could be. It, it takes jewels, so ain't not much we can do there. Oh, God, Jesus. It flew out of the sky. I think it's a bird. Definitely not a plane, but probably a bird. And it also takes jewels, so there's nothing we can do about that right now, but that was scary. Money, 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 money. All right, our bag is completely full, and boom, we got vagrants that we need to recruit. You are now part of my establishment. Go, go back and get a job, all of you. And here's the other side of the island, the rock facing. A big, giant, swirling uh, portal as well. It's scary. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm going to have to pay some of these greed off. They're starting this early. Jeez. Or maybe it's because I was too close to the portal. I never figured that out yet. But I'm going to drop two more coins just so these guys can make it. Yeah, that'll be fine. I'm low in stamina right now, so there's not much I can do. But slowly walk this way. I think these guys over here can make it just fine, though. Alright, the wife poofy smoke has stopped coming out of the horse's mouth, so we can kind of run again. And we're going to run to this pasture so we can regain some stamina. I know, yeah. You get multiple mounts in this uh, game, so this is just our first mount. So, it's not always going to be like this. So cool watching the deer run around. Even though we have our torch on, it is not dark. It's not nighttime or anything. It usually signifies when we're deep in a forest. See all the trees behind us? It usually gets darker when we're in the thicket of the forest. So keep that in mind. So when you get out to an open area like this, you can tell that there's still some day daytime hours out there. Okay, look, there's some of our crew right there. Fantastic. Happy you paid us. It's fantastic as well. Okay, we need to leave some of that. Yep, too much money. It's 
So our next objective is probably going to clear a couple trees on this side, and we'll work on getting that boat done. Okay, we got what three greed on this side? Oh gosh. Okay, there we go. Fantastic. Wait, we got three vagrants on this side. Let's do it to it, man. There you go. And their vagrant cram camp on this side is explicitly close. Okay, we'll go ahead and build a fence out to here. Which means there's not going to be a whole lot of hunting getting done on that side, unfortunately. But it is what it is, so. Right, we're going to run over here because I think our boat is over here, so we want to go ahead and invest in that immediately. It seems a bit far off, but we need to go ahead and get this done. Even though it's well out of our bounds. Blam. And for the first island, uh, all the materials, all the materials we need will drop immediately. So we won't have to steadily pay for them. You'll see what I mean when it comes to time to leave the second island. All right, we got two of our builders going there. Fantastic. And this guy will pay us. Oh, okay. No, we have to pay him. My bad. Oh, we got a stranded vagrant here. There we go. Actually, let's go ahead and get one more hammer in there. It looks like we got some va va another Vagrant that didn't make it all the way. Okay, well, we got the option. Let's go ahead and take down these trees. And then we're going to upgrade our central stronghold got a big freaking fence. There we go. Life is good. All right. We have to keep all these trees up. We have no choice in the matter. I mean, we could chop them down, but we'll be losing a very valuable camp. And actually, uh, it's not going to matter uh, to us anyway. It seems like. Oh, no, it does. Forest is too thick. Even though there's not a whole lot of trees on this side, usually you're able to get on the far side of something and cut the trees down, but there's nothing showing uh, in the background that we can do that. You know you're able to cut trees down when there's a visible clearing uh, in the background where you can usually tell if it's daytime or not, but right now we're in the thick of the forest. I must, I'm a, I must chill with these guys right now. I got enough money, so if I need to pay off some greed, I'll do that. Okay, they're finished. We're not going to launch the boat yet. Okay, yeah, these guys will make it. I'm not worried. Side. We got a. Oh wow! A few more greed on this side. Okay, that raid is over, so we're gonna upgrade this uh, wall to the second tier. And we're actually gonna do the same thing on this side. Oh, okay. There we go. Let's see if these guys got any money. So it seems they have. Fantastic. Oh, wow, it's really dark. It's so dark, you can't even see the background. This is day three. We 
go ahead and chop down this tree as well. Yeah, that looks good. I mean, the more the more trees we chop down, the more field we can get, and the more field we get, the more rabbits can inhabit those fields, which is really good for us. That means the more options, opportunities we can get to get more money from these rabbits. Apparently, the rabbits are very wealthy out here in these lands. I mean, who thought? Who do, who would have thought? All I had to do to get rich was, you know, slay a couple of rabbits. I ain't going to worry about chopping that tree down. Well, actually, why not? There's only two trees, so... Yeah, I think it'll benefit us. Poor little bird. Whatever that bird is. Alright, we gotta walk now. Okay, we got a handful of vagrants here, so we'll, we'll try to get them on our way to our side of the island if we can. We have a fair amount of money, so if we have to pay off some greed, I don't know. We'll see. It might take all my money, but it might be worth it just to get two more. Because we got the boat built already. And uh, now we got to make sure we stock the stronghold with enough people that uh, the greed won't easily, you know, take it down for the time that we're going to be leaving. I'll throw down three coins for right now. It might, I'm sure that'll be enough. I'm going to go ahead and take off. I put three coins, if anything. Uh, let's see here. Okay, the sun's just now going down. Good. And the vagrants are almost here. So that's, I mean, our citizens are almost here. Fantastic. We got a fair amount of pay on this side. And looks like the music got really dramatic there for a moment. For, for what? I don't know why. Okay, for greed. I say we can probably leave right now once I get a handful more money. <laughs> we'll chill with these cats right here. And we're really fortunate actually because there's a farm, uh, a place where you can put a farm right here. So when we come back, we'll be in good shape to start a farm. Looks like we got enough builders in general, so we'll go ahead and just drop the boat and see what who loads on there. Oh, our, our horse is so slow. It's a bit agonizing. Almost there to the boat. We can make it. We can. There we go. 
see if you're out of stamina like your horse will like lean up on its back leg saying like i don't want to do nothing for you fool too tired you overwork me you don't pay me in enough cares to do this <clears throat> pardon oh wow looks like we got uh four archers loading onto the boat and we got our two builders Ooh, they they snagged a deer fantastic Take that as a donation. Okay, there we go. Three builders and two... Uh, now let's check back at our base real quick. Let's go ahead and hire another vagrant. Okay, well, thank God we got, like, plenty of plenty of uh, archers and builders at the very least. So, we got that going for us. It's a shame that we can't make no money on the right side of this uh, establishment. That's why we're kind of lacking in funds right now. Okay, it, I say it's probably good enough. Okay, we got three on that side. I mean, they can do me a big favor and just divide two and two. I mean, that would make my life a lot easier. But anyway. Oh, okay, here we go. I think we're good. There we go. We, we'll just take off. Yeah, it's a little upsetting that uh, that we had a vagrant camp that was really close to our stronghold uh, right there on the right side because it didn't leave us much room for fields. And it was a really important, you know, vagrant camp that we needed for the early game. If it was a little tad bit farther out, we actually could have left a day early. All right, the second island's opening up for us, so let's be on our way. All right, we're here. We crash landed. Our ship is a wreck. What has God done? My goodness. And look, we have an apparition that is pointing this direction. We got our builders chilling at the hut, being lazy. Well, they're not, I'm not telling them to build anything, so it's whatever. Okay, let's go ahead and stop this fire. Let's go ahead and hire these people. Let's go ahead and build these fences. And we have our merchant coming in to hang out. Oh, let's get that piece of gold, actually. We might need it for our first part, first part of the game. All right, I'll wait till I come back for that, actually. Let's go ahead and uh, do what we always do and explore one side of the island. Looks like we have ourselves another shrine here we can focus on, and this one looks like it could be very cheap for us. Oh, looks like we have a stone quarry as well. Fantastic. Our objective now is just, you know, get, get all the chests we can on one side of the island. 
Ooh, and raw. That's what we needed in our life. All the monies. Since we're here, we, we're going to go ahead and just, like, chew on some grass. Get, let my horse get a little bit of that stamina. We're going to need that. And usually for each new island you get to, the island usually gets progressively bigger and bigger. Usually. I think there might be an exception here and there. Let's go ahead and get these gems. Okay, Vagary Camp's bet. Yeah, I ran past that uh, portal there. And sometimes when you get really close to it, greed will just pop out of that sucker, even when they're not supposed to. But on this side, nothing but a... Oh, okay, it's the docks. Got it. You see there ain't no portal spinning at that big goopy thing right now on the dock because we got this other portal right here in front uh, on the left side of us. If there's portals in front of the end there, uh, you know, the end pieces won't swirl. So if we but if we break this gate down, if we have enough forces to do that, we don't have to worry about much. There we go. Oh gosh, we're out of breath. The worst position. You know, the worst position you can be in is if if you're in the thick of a forest with a mount that has like, you know, let go all of its stamina and you're getting chased by greed. If you play this game, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's the worst right there. I'll go ahead and follow these guys back, though, to make sure they make it back safely. Thank you. Looks like there might be good. I don't, usually the greed catches up to us by now, but I don't see them, so I don't think we have to worry about them. So, yeah, yeah, we're good. We'll go ahead and invest a gem here. Spend some of our hard-earned cash getting that up. We'll tend to these houses right here uh, and another time. We might pick that person up before we leave. We'll see, though. But since we're already here, let's go ahead and just uh, start cutting trees. About three trees would be good. Let's talk to our guys right here. Fantastic. Let's pay him off. Let him go do his thing. And we want to cut down this tree right here. We'll pop up some tents. Happy times, you know. Put two more uh, bow and arrows right there. So we can get our guys speedy and runny. There we go. Uh, to, so they can get, get, their, get to work. We don't have to worry about this thing right here disappearing, so we can go ahead and, you know, chop trees around it all we want. But I think I'm out of time, so yeah, this is the uh, first one's down in the books, guys. So this is a uh, grounded battery and come back next time. And well, we will, we will continue to play Kingdom 2 Crowns. All right. All right, guys. See you later. Bye.